of a technological revolution. And I don't want to talk stating things. And I think it's going to absorb all our careers for, you know, it'll see all of us out uh, of our working lives. Just to kick things off this morning, we're going to look specifically at, at form factors and design. The products that I was championing this morning um, were the Concord Glacé, which is a wall luminaire, um, which replaces a, probably a conventional T5 circular luminaire. Um, but the LED technology has been embedded very cleverly and optically. And as well as performing well in its functionality, it looks beautiful because the edge of the, the luminaire is caught in a rim of light. This morning I made comments on the ACDC Fusion high-res fixture. I thought it ticked all the boxes I'd be looking for in, in a product. It was a really elegant piece of design, very now in terms of its design, and there's some beautiful detailing in it. Um, it it's designed obviously specifically for LEDs. I couldn't see how you could put any other light source in that, in the way it was very slim, it was done. And on top of that, um, it was also a very intelligent fixture. There was all sorts of electronic controls that um, you couldn't really apply to any other light source. They're, they're always functional. Um, issues you probably need to deal with in luminaire design. But new technologies come and go, but, but, loop, but light is still light, buildings are still buildings, people are still the same, eyes are the same, so those things just never change. A new innovation in a simple lamp, which is a G LED G U10 replacement. Um, and, and then scatters out, so you'll always have this complete uniform uh, appearance. Uh, my favourite product was the remote phosphor. Um, David showed it last year um, and was very impressed uh, the, with the moulded products that he was producing, but kind of told him that it needed to be white. They needed to do something about seeing the yellow thing in front of you would put people off, certainly in the domestic market. He's come back today, it's white. You can't see the yellow phosphor anymore. So that, that was really good. I think the product won because it not only addressed a lot of the issues that people face with linear lighting, specifically pixelation, non-uniformity, but it's also innovative and it's, it's new, it's different, uh, but benefits from all of the uh, pluses that go along with remote phosphor. So, and the biggest one being that it's white now instead of yellow. Clever showed they'd actually spoken to their customers, they'd resolved technical issues, they'd come back and they'd done the numbers. My mind is still still go, going at some really, to, to thinking of all the possibilities that suddenly, I'm thinking of fittings I've looked at where I've made do with those light fittings with a polycarbonate diffuser, but suddenly now there's a new product there that we can use. Um, and, and so I, I can see myself giving the guy a call quite quickly uh, tomorrow. I think the discussions today have been really diverse and really interesting and it's been really exciting to see that the language of lighting is changing you know and and that the importance of thermodynamics the importance of um, how we design fixtures you know and actually having a, having a forum to debate that has been really really important but when but really the, the biggest uh, the best opportunity is really to debate things like Zaga and and how we're going to standardize this industry what we designed uh, to enable that is uh, uh, a range of uh, building blocks, just a few modules, talk about 11, and uh, a bunch of drivers. When uh, hook up as a system, it allows you to uh, cover the whole and uh, change over from fluo to LED, the whole uh, linear fluo portfolio. LEDs are, are basically electronic components, um, and tomorrow's systems are going to have wireless, embedded processors, software. This is just like TVs, set-top boxes, consumer phones, gadgets. So those are the kind of companies that I think the lighting industry really needs to kind of pay attention to. 3D printing is the future. Um, in my view, there'll be two sorts of companies in the, in, in the future. There'll be the global and there'll be the fast. 3D printing fits into the fast, it fits into the London design community, it fits into digitization from beginning to end. It just reinvents 
everything. It's good to see a vibrant industry whereby um, the industry as a whole is coming together to discuss its issues. It's great to be able to bring together at events like this all of the people who are involved in designing and producing lighting products. Uh, it's a very exciting time uh, for them. It's a very difficult time. There are lots of, lots of challenges they've got to deal with to do with uh, how to use new technology, uh, to do with standards or the lack of standards, uh, to do with uh, warranties that you place on LED lighting products. Uh, there's plenty to talk about and so there's really a lot to be gained from coming along to an event like this and uh, learning from your peers.